Good morning, kitties. Bread and butter and coffee is my favorite kind of breakfast. Also got a half a sandwich to go for lunch. So I'm going to take a ferry this morning. At least I'm going to try to take a ferry. How many rooms? Well, I sleep in the chair. This is what? You sleep standing. Oh, Nino, go away from there. So last night there was only one other person in my bunk room. Um, it was a guy, which sometimes I don't always feel like the most comfortable when it's just like me and one other person, the other person being a guy, but I mean, it was totally fine. And he was a very quiet sleeper, no snoring, <laughs> didn't make much noise. So um, it was, I got a pretty good night's sleep. Um, I kind of woke up in the middle of the night and then couldn't fall asleep for a while, but then I kind of slept past seven and felt like I could just keep sleeping. So uh, for the most part, I feel really well rested. So I just took that ferry across. Um, I'm really glad I did it. It's fun to kind of add in different transportation when you're on like a long walking trip. Um, Cause you know, you're just walking every day. So when there's an option to like hop in a boat, uh, I think it's always a fun thing to do. Let's see if we can read this sign. Um, El Grave, 11 kilometers. <laughs> to this beach and I'm not sure if there's going to be a way up at the other side but oh look at this oh, it's such a beautiful beach I think it's gonna be the perfect spot to take a little break taking a break on the beach I've got a banana took my shoes and socks off I'm on this gorgeous empty beach. Oh, what a nice walk so far. Okay, I tried walking all the way down the beach to see if there's a way to kind of climb up at the end, but I couldn't find one. Maybe because the tide is coming in and it, there's no longer a way to walk along the beach because you'd have to climb over some rocks if I kept going and I decided I didn't want to get stuck. So I'm going to go back up. There is a rope over here in the rocks. And I'm gonna try, I think, to climb up. Just met a group of people who came down that way and they said it's very muddy, but it's possible. So, uh, let's go check it out. They also said it was very muddy and I can see that. Ugh. All right, well, we'll give it a shot. Okay, steep and muddy, but I found this little bamboo pole. I don't think I'm gonna keep walking with it, but it very much helps me up. So, just about made it. Well, on second thought, I mean, the stick isn't perfect, but it's pretty straight. I mean, it's a little rough at the top and the bottom, but it's a good height, and it helped me up that pretty steep hill, so I think I'm just going to use it as a walking stick. All right, found my walking stick. Walk 
right up to this eucalyptus without noticing. I was so focused on the signpost there and then I caught a whiff of it in the air and I thought, oh, it's eucalyptus. Mmm, smells so good. Oh, this room is so nice. So I am seen in a private room because the hostel in this town is all booked and look how gorgeous this is. Oh, it's just so pretty. And then this looks into the back where they have a restaurant. And I think I'm gonna try to eat there tonight. Oh my goodness, look at all the pillows. And there's a bathroom with a big shower. Let's see if I could open it up. Oh, this is gonna be so, so nice. Oh, I'm very excited. So to get here, I got so confused and I went to the restaurant first and the girl in there directed me back here and I went inside a door and I ended up in <laughs> the owner's own house. And then when she arrived, she said, no, no, <laughs> we came up here, but she was so nice. Okay, I'm gonna get all settled in. Oh, and look at this beautiful detail. They're little coffee candies. Oh, and these are real flowers. Oh, so nice. Oh, look at this lunch. This sandwich looks so good. Got some chips and an apple that I've been carrying with me. It's perfect.